All right, welcome back. It's early March, 1863. Um, so here's how it looks in Virginia. I'm going to send Moosby back out to try to destroy the railroad next time, and then our other parts of the unit will um, hopefully make it back to Smith's Corps. Um, you can see that Smith's Corps has, a, has an undersized division, um, but we do have a brigade on the way. Um, same thing goes for uh, Stevenson, but we do have another uh, large brigade on the way, um, in addition to a brigade going to uh, early here. Um, not any big movement um, really in, in Kentucky or Tennessee. Uh, you can just see the large Union force there, and then the Union sort of sitting tight here. Um, out west, uh, again, pretty much sitting tight in, in Lawrence. Um, what's happening over here is Price will arrive in two days and join the Flex force. So I've dropped away the other batteries. So now we basically have a whole reserve, almost a reserve division, um, not quite, but a partial division in the city. So Price will join in two days. So if Grant moves, and the weather is clear, so the Grant could partially possibly move this time, um, they'll run into basically three divisions um, instead of uh, instead of two with artillery support. Um, out west, um, we're continuing to get control of basically Colorado and Kansas and and the Indian Territory. Our eventual goal is going to be able to uh, take Utah. Um, and then Nevada and uh, Oregon. Uh, so Oregon, ha I mean Nevada has a um, Nevada has gold mines, so that'd be um, a big one to take. Uh, and um, I don't really think, uh, yeah, Oregon doesn't really have any any special things. Obviously, we get to California eventually. That would be a huge bonus. But I don't know if the Union is going to. They could actually reinforce California by sea quite easily. Um, so um, I've done some some recruitment. You can see the store recruiting large brigades in, in Kentucky. I've cleared out what else was available in New Mexico uh, and Texas as far as basically all the units go, units are are going. Um, in addition, we have a few uh, replacements here um, in in reserve. So uh, I, I do plan on holding the West, New Mexico, and Colorado, so that's why I'm go doing some more recruitment there. All right, let's run the turn and see what happens. Um, so the deal is basically, um, uh, yeah, very interesting. So it looks like Price took over command we won the first battle in Fayetteville, and then we lost the second. So I may have, may have made a huge mistake by um, sending Price as a division um, because he's not near as good as McCulloch. So let's take a look at the forces. Um, here was the first battle where uh, we were uh, we were victorious, um, and but not by not by a huge amount. And then here's the second one. Um, where where we lost? Um, let me let me bring it up. Uh, so we do have fresh forces. Um, we do have fresh forces in here, um, but you can see it is really not. Uh, yeah, there's really not a whole lot um, of the forces left. They've pretty much been, been wiped out. So the Union gets a big victory. I'll have to see what to do with these forces. I might try to merge them with McCulloch's force and then, um, uh, yeah, basically um, maybe they'll, they'll join the divisions here and, uh, yeah. So I may have made a snake. I didn't, you know, I, 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 I thought price was lower than the McCulloch, but that was obviously not the case, and so he's not. Price was not near as good as the general as as um, McCulloch's force. So, uh not really much else to say. Other than that, there wasn't really any uh, any movement um, to speak of. 
so that was um, that was the big one. So uh, let's see, yeah, it looks like these forces didn't uh, they were able to get resupplied, so they didn't take they didn't take the big losses. Um, okay, so let's see if there are any other messages other than uh, the battles. Um, okay, so mostly movement, uh, a whole bunch of decisions, telegraphs, partisans, guerrillas made by the Union, uh, more movement, um, more movement. There was the first battle we won, the second battle we lost. Okay, so we have several our militias are, are ready. Uh, laboratory explosion on Browns Island, minus 10 production. Uh, Chapman plot fails. Yep, I heard of that. Chapman plot. Um, so that's pretty much it. So the Union is definitely on the move. They, they get a big victory out west. Um, Grant's force, as you can see, is quite spent as well. Um, really, there's only uh, one uh, one division um, that's in decent shape. In fact, our power is about the same, and so we may even want to consider... Um, yeah, it may, I mean, it, it might actually make sense to either try to counterattack with a with our fresh units, uh, it is mostly militia, um, or at least bring in and, and try to um, defend. We do have still 5% military control, so um, it could be possible that you know we wouldn't be forced to attack. Hard to say. Uh, of course, there is another, there are a couple more other small divisions um, up here. So, lots to think about, but uh, definitely a, a pretty big turn for the Union. I think he'll be happy with that because, uh, you know, it's, it's late March 1863, and they've, you know, they've taken over Missouri, and now we're being pushed out of possibly Fayetteville, although um, it isn't for certain yet. And Arkansas is away from the core um, of 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 our, you know, the heartlands of the Confederacy. Okay, I'll see you next.